Hey, welcome to my first build video on my C8. So what I did is I ran off and got with ACS Composites and got me a front splitter, side skirts, and some wickers for the side, and then also the extended, you want to call them mud flaps, but the extended guards to keep the rocks off the side. And I'm going to take you guys through how easy this stuff is to install and how beautiful it looks. Stick with me. Thanks for watching. All right, what I'm going to start out with is I'm not big in unboxings. If you guys watch me know I think that's kind of corny to do. But I wanted to show you guys how cool the packaging is. They really make sure and take time to cover up because it is painted. And I did do all the carbon flash to match my car because I paint, the roof was painted carbon flash and all the side trims carbon flash. So I didn't want to do carbon fiber necessarily. I wanted it to match really good. The paint job, just first impression, is beautiful. The fit and finish looks really fantastic. So I'm going to walk you guys through the install. There's a left and a right. And just to show you real quick... It's just going to add a little something extra special to that spoiler. I think it's going to look really sharp. So uh, let's get doing the install. First thing I'm going to do is I got myself some alcohol here. That's all. I'm just going to get get a little alcohol on here and clean everywhere that the double stick is. I'm just uh, doing my due diligence. Make sure I'm on my and then we're going to do a little quick test fit. So one thing I really like is they leave you the extra tape on here. And what that allows you guys to do, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody install or stuff, but if you pull that tape up and out of the way to where I can grab a hold of it, I can actually set this into place and then peel that tape off without peeling it off first and trying to be careful and stick it into place. You stick it in place first and then peel the tape out from under it. Really smart and intelligent idea. Way to go, guys. So you can see how I got that up there. What I'm basically doing is just doing a test fit and I'm looking at both sides to see exactly where I think it should fit. And uh, it, it seems to line up perfect already. So they did a really good job with their molding process here. And I guess there's nothing to do but for me to peel some tape. Make sure I'm in the right spot. As you can see, I'm just going to peel this tape over here. Make sure I'm stuck where I wanted it to. Keep peeling that tape back. And there you have it. Now what I didn't show you, and my mistake, is there's there's three holes underneath here. You actually drill in the bottom of the spoiler, and you come back and you put your pop rivets in. I want to do the tape first, because I think if you drill your holes first, if your alignment's a little off, you're kind of messed up and you're screwed and you're stuck with those holes. So I'm going to tape it into place. That way, if something goes wrong, I can always peel it off, put new tape on it, and, and put it back where I want it. But it looks like we got it right the first time. So I'm going to peel the other piece of tape off, and we'll get under here, and we'll talk about how we're going to drill out the pipe holes. See, that was just a real simple install process. I'm going to give kudos where kudos is due ACS. You did a really good job. The fit and finish is good paint job looks beautiful and as you can see that was easy to install I mean we still have to come back and like I said we're going to drill this in and then put the pop rivets in but just for now you can see how fast that was and what a big difference it made so I'm not going to bore you guys I'm going to do the exact same thing to the passenger side of the car so I'm going to go ahead on and do that, and then we'll bring the camera back, and we'll show you how we're going to drill them in after that. So let me just install this one real quick. Okay, so now we're at the next step where I actually got to come back and drill the three holes on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run me a little brew tape across here just to make sure in case I slip with the drill. I don't really think I need this, but if I slip, at least it's protecting my paint. So I did put a stop, which is a guide to me, on my drill bit, so I'm only gonna go so far because I'm worried about the grip, the drill just grabbing and running through the backside of the spoiler. So I put a stop on there, and I'm just gonna um, carefully drill these out. It's a little nerve wracking, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I'm gonna carefully drill these out and see what happens. As you can see the guide really does help you because once the grill drabs this plastic here um, it has a tendency just to go 
So <laughs> the stop is important on your drill if you guys are going to do this. Now we're going to get out the pop rivets and my gun, get it adjusted, and I'll show you how we pop rivet these on. Okay, so here we are. We got our pop rivet and our pop rivet gun. I've done a lot of pop riveting on my time on all kinds of different stuff. I'm telling you, best just to take it slow. So I'm going to put the pop rivet in, make sure it's bottomed out. I'm going to pull one time, then grab another grab and then pull again. And it should get us right where we need to be. So you just go nice and slow. Reposition the pop rivet gun. And there we have it. Uh, again, I'm going to say, nice job, guys. I think they really did their homework on this kit. Looks fantastic, fits fantastic. And this has been a piece of cake to install in. I'm going to tell you, it's hard to see in the pictures how nice this really is. I'm going to try to do a little bit better video for you. When I was on their website, you know, you're looking at their pictures and you think that's pretty cool. You can't really tell. I'm going to try to take the pictures so you can see what I see because it looks a lot better in person. It's that simple. We're installed. It's on tight. We're finished. It's really pretty easy. I'm going to pull my tape back off, wipe her down, and we'll be done moving on to the front splitter. Okay, now I'm going to walk you through after we've done the rear spoiler. Now we're going to walk through doing the front splitter. It's basically just a series of a T15 nuts. I mean, screws underneath there. So we just got to go through and get them out. There's like 15 or 20 of them. So I might show you a couple of them, but I'm not going to bore you with all that. What we're going to do is take off the factory plastic one. And then I'll walk you through putting on the ACS composites one. And again, it's just a simple bolt up application. You don't really have to do anything. To try to show you how easy it is, I'm literally going to do this right in my driveway, right on the ground. Yes, it's not going to be perfect because you got to kind of put your head under it a little bit. But it just goes to show you how user friendly this is. All right, here we go. We finally got the front plastic one off. It was actually 21, those T15 bolts on here. Sorry, we had to work through our bed. 21 of these came out. Okay, so I have the new splitter down here on some towels because remember, it is painted. So I have it down on some towels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my camera guy help me hold it up there. And I'm gonna thread a bolt on each side and one in the middle. I'm not gonna tighten them down yet until I make sure everything's aligned and fit. But just to be held up there so we can get back to video and I do need a second hand to help hold it to the bottom of the car just to make sure I don't scratch it on the concrete. Okay, so we have the front splitter on there now. What we have done is hand tighten all the bolts there. We didn't get them tight because I wanted to make sure there was any adjustment. There was none needed. I'm going to be absolutely transparent with you. This part fits perfect right out of the box. We had to make no modifications. It was just a direct bolt on, which is rare for any aftermarket parts. So all I'm going to do now is I do have the drill. I'm going to use my drill to tighten it, which I do not like doing, especially on plastic. So I have loosened the chuck halfway. So what I'm going to do is run them in there with the drill. But remember, I have my chuck where it's only going to torque a certain amount and then it'll quit torque. So down there and then we'll be finished up and we'll give you a pan over and show you. Okay, so now we're going to move on to adding the splash guards. I believe this is important, especially for my car because I got new wheels on the car, as you can see. And they actually brought it out about a half of an inch, which leaves you vulnerable to a lot of rock chips on the front and the rear. So I opted to order these. Um, I've already put two on so I can learn it and understand it without videoing it. So now I'm going to show it to you. 
they absolutely fit perfect. The mold design again, ACS. I mean, I can't tell you how much I appreciate buying a bolt-on part that actually bolts on. So thank you for another nice product. And I'm going to show you guys how we do this. You can see that clips in the back. And this tells you the seven millimeter bolt, which I already took out because I know you guys don't want to see me laying on my back. Well, maybe some of you do. <laughs> Basically, I got me a nylon trim tool here. And you just kind of pry this away. And I'm trying to stay away from the paint. And just pry this out of here. And pretty simple. And what I figured out works best on the other side is I go ahead and I take the clips off of this. I install the clips into these slots that are in the car. And then I'm able to push that piece right into place. Now there is a lip here that has to tuck into your liner. So what I've been doing is taking the long handle screwdriver, pulling the liner out a little bit so I can tuck that clip in there. And then we push these in. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off of here and slide them into the car and I'll show that to you. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it makes a major difference in the style of the car. It kind of really made it look sporty. Now, I do have the side skirts that we want to put on, but after looking at it and figuring out how we're going to put them on, I feel like it'd be a little better off for me to get this car up in the air a little bit. So I'm going to go borrow one of my buddy's lifts, and then we'll get back to video and then show you the side skirt install. But as of right now, I think we already done a lot to the car. It looks so beautiful. Thank you for watching, and we'll be right back with you. As soon as I find a lift, when we get the car in the air, we'll get it finished. All right, guys, we're back, and um, I got lucky today. And one of my buddies that owns Ceramic Elite, he said he could use his lift over here to get this car up and line of sight so I'm not laying on my back to put these side skirts on here. So we're going to walk you through the process on how we're going to put the side skirts on. I am going to say this, you know, everything that we've used from ACS Composite has been perfect so far. And I believe these parts fit perfect too, but the instructions are a little wonky. So go online, check out the video, and that's why I'm going to make my video, guys, so you can watch and try to understand how these go on. So hopefully we get it done perfect the first time. Okay, as you can see, basically there's two seven millimeter screws in the back you're gonna to need to take out. And there's gonna be one seven millimeter screw in the front you can need to take out of here. Remember, this side skirt is gonna to need to go underneath your rock chip, your, your rock guard here. So you need to make sure you peel that back a little bit and we're gonna slide the fender flare in between it and the body. All right, so now we're ready to um, do the tape here. And I'll bring you back and show you that. So basically they give you the foam tape. They tell you it's supposed to be 14 inches. And it came a little bit longer than that. So we went ahead and marked it. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut both sides while I'm at it. That way the other side I'm prepared and we can just keep on moving on moving on. I'm not exactly sure. And the instructions don't tell you really what the foam tape does. But I think what it does is it brings this panel up just in line with the body line a little better. So I think that's why they only do the back half and then the front half will sit down a little bit lower. So what we're going to do here is um, I guess that tape will wrap over a little bit. I'm going to try to cut that just like the body line is. Perfect. 
except I did it backwards. You see there, I cut on the side that don't stick. So this is gonna have to go on the other side. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to cut this side. So you can see I already messed that up. So there's a good piece of advice for you. When you're cutting the sliver, if you cut it, make sure that you're doing it with the tape side down. If you want to come over here and zoom in on this spot, we can kind of show them what I just did there. Can you see that with my hand out of the way? So you can see basically I just cut this edge off because it was squared out and it would have just laid over. So I just cut a nice little clean edge and I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down. So you know, before we started, I did put some wax and grease remover on this entire thing and then wiped it down with some alcohol so I know that we have a good clean surface to work with. So basically they give you this nice 3M double stick tape. And what I'm gonna do is start from the foam. I'm gonna work myself all the way around to the front of the rocker. And I'm gonna leave a little extra hanging off so I can trim it just right. And then remember, we'll have to come in here and pull a piece of this red or I'll find me some masking tape that I can put extra on here so we can leave it out so we have something to pull away. So here goes nothing. And then I do not want to cut on my car. So I'm just going to try to trim this a little long. Be careful not to touch the paint. And then it'll fold under just a smidge. And then again, we'll try to find some tape that we can put on here so when I peel from behind here, we'll be good. So, we're making progress. Next step in the process is to put this bracket. And from what I can gather, this bracket has to line up across the back and this body line right here and it goes over the body line just a smidge. And what that does is um, allow this flare to actually sit on top of this. You can see there's double stick on here, it's gonna to stick to it. But it actually allows it to sit on top of that also. So that'll give us extra support along with all the bolts that'll be in the bottom and your double stick tape all the way around, which should be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my camera guy into place so you're going to see his face in the camera with here because I want to make sure I hold this thing completely square and I'm going to let him come over here and pull the tape off of it that way I stay square. put as much extra pressure on here as I possibly can. So this piece is designed to where this 90 degree lines up with this body lip back here. But it also has a notch inside of it. And that notch, if you can zoom in there close, lines up with that body line there and sits in it. And then we're completely 100% flush back here. So it looks like we got all the hardware done and all we gotta do is figure out how to get this side skirt on here now. We should be good to go.
So let me show you what I did. What I did is just pulled a little of the tape up, put a piece on here. So when I lay this over here, we can come back in and peel this from behind it. Comes this way, see how they leave you an extra? Same thing, I'm gonna leave this extra hanging out here. And then we can just peel that out from behind there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Tyler come out from behind the camera because remember we have a seven millimeter there and two here. And what I'm gonna do is set this up into place. I'm gonna take a look at the fit and finish first. And if it's right, we'll put in the seven, meter, seven millimeter bolts and then we'll come back and pull our tape after that. Okay, so we've got the seven millimeter bolts in here, basically just holding this into place. As you can tell, it's still loose because we haven't put any of the tape down yet. So I'm gonna start in the back and I'm gonna kind of pull up on this a little bit and I'm gonna have Tyler pull the tape down and then I'm gonna make sure it's pushed back flat against the car and then push it down tight. So wish me luck. Well, phase one complete. <laughs> looks like it's on there pretty solid and it looks like the fit is absolutely perfect with the body line. So, so far we're doing good. Now if you want to bring the camera up here and show this. So you can tell I'm going to do the same thing with here. I'm going to try to hold up and push back, but there's a little bit of gap back here. So as he's pulling that tape, I'm gonna have to force this rocker backwards towards the car so that lines up good as it sits down on the tape. So we're gonna have to work as a team and work together here. As you can see, I'm putting pressure towards the car and then I'm pushing down on the double stick tape. And it looks like I got lucky first try, thank God, because that would be a mess to have to pull back off of here. And it looks like we're good and tight, fit and finish. Again, I'm not sponsored or paid by these people, but I can tell you this, this ACS composite did their homework and for an aftermarket part, they fit fantastic. And I just want to make sure I'm applying plenty of pressure at the tape. I feel like, and I don't know this to be true, I feel like when the tape's fresh, it's the stickiest. So I'm making sure I use a rag instead of my fingers. I don't want to scratch the paint as much as I have to. You might scratch a little bit finely with this, but I'm just trying to make sure. And the only thing left for us to do at this point is we're going to have to get the car up in the air, drill some of the holes, and put the pop rivets in. But this feels pretty solid, secure, and safe already as it is. We'll tighten up seven millimeter bolts and then start on the other side and we'll make it fast, rinse and repeat so you guys don't have to watch all that. It's not a game, it's a red skin.
All right, guys, as you can see, we had to drill about a dozen holes down the side of this thing. And then they give you the nice little pop rivets to put the pop rivets in. And I'm just going to walk you through there. CEO Joe was nice enough to give me a pop rivet gun that's pneumatic. <laughs> so we're going to pop down through here and knock these in. And hopefully that'll complete this install. Be careful because there are two different size pop rivets. There's a short pop rivet and then there's a little one that's a little bit longer than this. The longer ones go towards the outside of the car, the short ones go towards the inside of the car and when you're under there, it's because when you drill the frame will be real close so you got to use the short one and I, I kind of pulled it down a little bit, stuck the pop rivet in there and tightened it up. So remember, the larger pop rivets on the outside when you're installing these skirts. Right, as you can see we finally 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 have a finished product i could not have done this without ceo joe from ceramic elite he loaned me the lift and he actually gave me some tips on how to do it because he's done a pair before so here we are finished product acs composites i'm going to say you rock dude i mean everything went on perfect it looks perfect the paint job looks perfect and you can see the finished product for yourself what do you guys think get my shadow out of there i mean i think it looks fantastic from the front splitter, the side skirts, to the players on the, the wicker bills on the back. I think it's beautiful. I hope you guys think it's beautiful too. And I hope you got a lot out of this video. We tried hard to show you all the steps it takes and let you know you really could do this in your driveway if you had a jack and some jack stands. And it's really a piece of cake. We pretty much probably have about two and a half, three hours in the entire install. Everything fit perfect. First try, again, ACS Composites, good job. Like and share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you.